So, we all know about Tesla, right? The electric vehicle powerhouse headed by Elon Musk, they've been making waves in the transportation scene for years. From day one, they've been shaking things up, engineering and crafting their own unique drive units. Did you know that Tesla's ace in the hole includes induction motors and permanent magnet motors? Yes, indeed. These guys are some of the most advanced and efficient motors on the market. And here's a fun fact. Nikola Tesla himself, way back in the 1880s, came up with the concept of the induction motor. It's pretty much the standard in electric motors today. Here's a quick breakdown. Induction motors work by using electromagnets to create a magnetic field. This field induces an electric current which drives the rotor and creates rotational energy. Because they have fewer moving parts, these motors are simple and reliable. Permanent magnet motors, on the other hand, have fixed magnets that interact with the rotor's electric current to create motion. These motors are super effective and generate low heat, making them perfect for electric vehicles. Now here's where Tesla really flexes its innovation muscles. They use permanent magnet motors for their rear-wheel drive vehicles and add an induction motor for the dual motor models. Why you ask? The induction motor is great for things like acceleration, while the permanent magnet motor keeps things efficient during highway drives. But the cherry on top, Tesla's high-octane plaid models, like the Model S, Model X, and the Semi. These speed machines are outfitted with not one, not two, but three carbon-wrapped plaid motors that maintain power even at high speeds. How cool is that? Now, let's talk about Tesla's next-generation motor. According to Musk, this motor is all about scalability, a key factor that often gets overlooked in favor of power, acceleration, and energy efficiency. The big challenge here is to create a high-quality product while keeping costs down. Just think about Tesla's battery cell strategy. Take the 4680 cell, for instance. Instead of trying to achieve the highest energy density possible, Tesla focuses on manufacturing. Musk made this clear during Tesla's recent investor day. He talked about how electric airplanes would need an energy density of over 450 kilowatts per kilogram. Cells that dense are out there, but they're expensive and not scalable. However, the 4680 cell is different. It's all about tackling material sourcing and manufacturing issues. It's designed with cost reduction and scalability in mind. Here's an interesting story about Tesla's Model 3 motor. It's not just in the Model 3 but across all Tesla vehicles. Between 2017 and 2022, Tesla managed to reduce the use of rare earth metals by 25%, decrease the motor weight by 20%, and cut down the factory size needed to build these motors by an impressive 75%. All of these changes led to a 65% reduction in cost. It's important to understand that any cost associated with the factory will end up influencing the final price of the product. So, by improving the factory's efficiency, Tesla can offer a high-quality product at a more affordable price. Now, here's the latest on Tesla's quest to cut motor costs even further. Car expert Sandy Monroe noticed at the Tesla Investor Day event that Tesla has switched to a hairpin electric motor design. How's that for clever innovation? You've probably heard about the hairpin motors, right? They're a particular type of electric motor that has this cool design where the stator windings look like hairpins instead of regular round wire windings. The magic here is that these motors are more efficient because they've got lower winding resistance and better heat dissipation. Plus, the hairpin windings let more copper be packed into the same space, which means a stronger magnet and a more powerful motor. Neat, huh? Hairpin motors are fairly new, but they're catching on fast. Big names like Volkswagen, BMW, and General Motors are already using hairpin designs in their electric vehicles. And guess who else is in the game? You got it, Tesla. They even showed off the machines that assemble these motors at their investor day. Now the tricky part with hairpin technology is the precision needed in bending and welding the copper hairpins. Any tiny mistake in the new welding can cause electrical losses, but that's where Tesla shines. They've come up with their own software to model and simulate the whole motor and its rotating electric field. And here's the kicker. Their software is quicker and more precise than anything else out there. It can zip through millions of designs to pick the best one, which works great with hairpin technology. And Tesla's strong AI expertise means they can optimize the winding pattern for better motor efficiency. 
Tesla's software is a big part of what puts them ahead of the pack. They also make their own high-level chips, according to Sandy Monroe, who's dissected quite a few Teslas and competitor vehicles. Tesla chips are second to none. In Tesla's charging chip, which controls every electron that moves the vehicle, they manage to cut heat generation in half and reduce the number of microprocessors from four to one. This results in a smaller, less expensive chip that's just as capable, if not more so. Colin Campbell, who presented this at Tesla's Investor Day, made it clear. He said, we can do what no other company can do. That's largely because Tesla aims to produce 100% of all high-level vehicle components in-house for their next generation platform. Plus, their company structure encourages communication and collaboration, which makes the design and manufacturing process smoother. And at the heart of all this software, even when designing hardware, Tesla relies heavily on software, and their Silicon Valley roots give them a distinct edge. But now for the big reveal. Elon Musk dropped a bombshell about Tesla's next generation motor. It's going to be made without any rare earth metals. This announcement sent shockwaves through the industry. Tesla says these new motors will be cheaper and more efficient. The news had immediate effects on the stock market, with shares of rare earth miners like MP Materials taking a hit. But for Tesla, the benefits are enormous. Without the need for these hard to get, environmentally harmful materials, they can ramp up production much faster. And the cost savings? We're talking hundreds of millions, maybe even billions of dollars in the long run. How's that for a game changer? Let's drill down into some details here. Tesla admitted that they used to put 500 grams of a particular mysterious material, along with 10 grams of two others, into each drive unit. Tesla hasn't named these materials, but chances are they're neodymium, praseodymium, and dysprosium. These are key ingredients in the neodymium iron baron magnet that Tesla's permanent magnet motor relies on. And they don't come cheap, often costing more than $100 a kilo, or a jaw-dropping $100,000 a ton. Let's take neodymium as an example. If we assume that this is the material used in 500 gram quantities per motor, and considering its price tag of about $123,000 a ton, then Tesla would have to shell out around $123 million for neodymium alone, just for the 2 million permanent magnet motors they're making this year. But with their next generation drive unit, all of that cost is wiped off the books and the savings are only going to get bigger as Tesla increases production to meet their ambitious goal of 20 million vehicles. But hold on, there's more. Tesla's motor is expected to use 75% less silicone carbide thanks to the smaller chip size we talked about earlier. And in their relentless pursuit of cost savings, Tesla's revamping all of their components for the next generation powertrain. This move promises to inject new energy into Tesla's vehicle lineup for at least the next five years. Here's a number that's going to knock your socks off. The projected cost of the entire next-gen drivetrain is just $1,000. When you compare that to what the competition might be spending, maybe three times as much according to Sandy Monroe and his team, you can see how this could give Tesla a strategic edge. And this could also pave the way for a future $25,000 car. Now, electric vehicles, with their simpler design and fewer parts, should eventually become cheaper than vehicles with internal combustion engines. But what makes Tesla stand out is their claim that they're the only ones who can pull this off. Their vertical integration, streamlined company structure, and commitment to manufacturing everything in-house give them a leg up. It puts them in a position other companies who are still trying to catch up with Tesla's older products can only dream of. So this brings us to a tantalizing question. Will Tesla's next generation motor, with its cost savings and superior performance, become the new standard across most of their vehicles? We'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching. What do you think about Tesla's new endeavor? Let us know in the comments. See you next time.